What game do mice like to play? Hide and squeak. And this is Balloon Animal Lessons number 68. Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and today I want to teach you how to make a one balloon mouse. This is a fast and simple design. It only uses one balloon, and it's pretty cute. What more would you want from a one balloon mouse? For this design, you'll need one 260. I'll be using brown. You're going to want to inflate it one quarter of the way. To figure out a quarter of the way, take the balloon and fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. This divides it up into quarters. Go ahead and pinch it right there at the first quarter. Let it fall down. You want to inflate it to right there. Tie it. We have inflated one quarter. Go ahead and give the balloon a stretch and a squeeze. We're going to start with the head. The head is one bubble. You want it just a little bit longer than an inch, but not by much. Next, we're going to do two flower petals. Give the balloon a nice squeeze and a stretch. We're going to make a flower petal that's pretty much a circle. So you want it to be as wide as it is tall. One more, just like that. And you can already see that we have the mouse's head. Now, if you're doing a lot of really quick mice, you can even just give them this. Draw the face on and you got a really quick two twist mouse. And if you pull on the tail, it'll even fly. But come on, we can do better than this. Let's add some legs. We're gonna twist a small bubble for the neck. Now we're gonna twist two one inch bubbles for the front legs. Go ahead and give the balloon a squeeze. And we're gonna to need to manage the air to make sure that we have enough for the back legs too. So we have two one inch bubbles for the front legs. Twist this section into this section. Now from the rest of this, I need to get one pinch twist and two back legs. So I'm gonna give this a squeeze. I'm gonna twist a small bubble for the body. I'm gonna twist two bubbles for the back legs. So you can see there I have my two bubbles. I'm gonna twist this section here into this section here. And now you can see that I have my tail sticking straight up, but I want it to stick more out and less up. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna twist a really tiny bubble right there on the end, just barely enough to hold the bubble. And then this bubble here, I'm gonna pinch twist that. So I'm gonna pull it, pinch it, twist it. And there we have the tail for the mouse left over. Now you just adjust it. and we have our one balloon mouse. Time for our art. Before we do our art, there's one more thing I like to do. I take the knot at the front of the mouse's head and I pull out the slack. So I have this uninflated section. Then I take that taunt and I wrap it back into the ears. This cleans up the mouse's head and gives us a nice canvas to draw the face onto. For the art, I start by drawing a large nose right in the center of the head. Then on both sides of the nose, I add three whiskers. Then under the nose, I draw a smile. Then at the bottom of the smile, I add two buck teeth. Then above the nose, I add eyes. Then over the eyes, I add eyebrows. And our face is done. And we're finished with our simple one balloon mouse. Let me know, is this the kind of design that you'll use? What do you like about it and what do you hate about it? I wanna know in the comments below. And while you're down there, let me know what you wanna learn next week. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. For more balloon animal instruction, subscribe to my channel. I make balloon animal lessons every Monday. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister, reminding you that anything can be made out of balloons. For more balloon twisting stuff, check out my website, balloon-animals.com.